Not so fast, evildoer. It's jail for you, you tasty villain. You and your chocolate chip gang are through. Boy, eating cookies is hard work. Ah, but there's only one more box to go, and I'll have 20 box tops. And that means I can get the Pajama Man action figure with titanic elbow thrust. I can hardly wait. Sam, it's almost time for dinner. Dinner? Oh boy, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh, I don't think that was me. Hey! <laughs> boy, first they spoil my dinner and now they've gone to cause trouble somewhere else. Somebody's gotta stop them. Somebody like... Pajama Sam! Of course, I'll need my cape. Back here. Aha! All right, cookies. Your dinner spoiling days are over. But Jim and Sam is on his way. The pantry. Of course. <laughs> Hello? Is somebody there? <laughs> Nobody here but us potatoes. <laughs> All right, cookies. I know you're in here. for Snacks and Sweets Aggressive Majority. Oh. Great party. Yep. This looks like a job for Pajama Sam. I ate the whole thing. You <laughs> ate it, Sam. <clears throat> well, um, thanks everyone. This is a great party, but I think I should be going now. It's almost my dinner time and I wouldn't want to spoil it. 
My mom made all that broccoli. <gasps> You can just wait here in jail until your trial next month, healthy boy. Next month? But it's almost time for dinner. Tell it to the fudge. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to the party. Fa la 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 la. I can't stay in here a whole month. I've got to get out of here. My name's Sam. I'm Florette. Are you a political prisoner too? I don't know. I think I'm in here because I said I didn't want to spoil my dinner. Hmm. The sweets don't always get along well with the other foods. I'm not a food. How come you're in here, Florette? Do you not want to spoil your dinner too? I'm one of the delegates to the big peace conference at the food pyramid. Peace conference? Yes. Delegates from all the food groups are supposed to get together to work out our differences. I represent the vegetables. Oh. Florette, I don't see what you being a... What did you call it? Peace delegate? Right. What does that have to do with you being in jail? Those sweets locked me up in here because they don't want the peace conference to happen. I had no idea that sweets were so mean. They're not all like that. It's mostly just this one group. Sometimes, when you get a lot of them together, they get a little crazy. That's funny. My mom says the same thing about my big brother and his friends. You've really got to get out of here. You need to get to your peace conference, and I've got to be home in time for dinner. How are we going to get out? Never fear. Pajama Sam is here. I'll get us out of here. Hey, bonbons! I like those. Oh boy, a box top! If I can find 20 of these, I can get a Pajama Man action figure with titanic elbow thrust. break anything. Well, maybe this will come in handy. I got the key! I think maybe I deserve a reward. before they come back. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Sweet troops. We'd better not let them see us. I've got to get to that peace conference at the food pyramid as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for getting us out of there, Sam. You're a real hero. See you later. shouldn't bother me. After all, there's no blue food, right? But I'm not taking any chances. Ah, another box top! <laughs> wow! What 
a neat building. Oh, good, another box top. I can find 20. Oh. Hi, Carrot. Sam. Boy, am I glad to see you. The island of Mop Top is in big trouble. Mop Top? Yeah, Mop Top. Here's what's going down. The folks who live on Mop Top are all foods, right? The Fats and Sweets group has taken over. There's just so many of them. They're causing problems all over the island. General Beefoot wants to declare war on them. That doesn't sound very good. You got that right. So, I've organized a peace conference. One member of each of the six food groups has been chosen as a delegate, and they're supposed to all get together here at the Pyramid to talk out their differences. I think Florette said something about that before. Right. She's one of the delegates at the conference. Trouble is, only two are here and there are supposed to be six. That's bad news. We need everybody or the conference is off. What? The conference is off? All right, that's it. This means war. No, General, no. The conference is still on. This is a map of the island of Mop Top. Of course it is, soldier. Wouldn't be very useful otherwise. I suppose not. Oh, one more thing, Sam. I've got to stay here and keep the general from declaring war. So somebody needs to find the other four delegates and get them here. They must have run into trouble or they'd be here by now. I can find them for you. Pajama Sam always helps those in need. But how will I recognize them? That part is easy. They'll all be wearing straw hats. Florette and Luke Wigglebig are here. The delegates still missing are Chuck Cheddar, Theme 47, Granny Smythe, and Pierre Lapin. What's this? A garrison of sweets just marched through the headlands! War, I tell you! No, General, wait! Boy, oh, I'd better find those delegates and get them here as fast as I can! Another box top! Again, Sam. Gotcha. Excuse me, I don't believe we've met. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sorry. Luke, this is Pajama Sam. Sam, this is Luke Wigglebig from the Fast and Sweet. I was asked to be here because of my remarkably good taste. I see.
I'm Sam. You're the librarian, right? Yes, that's right. Why are you crying? Can I help? Oh, no, thank you. Is this a book I'm reading? It's very sad. What book are you reading? Is it one of the classics? Oh, well, sort of. Y you see, it's a... Oh, all right, it's not one of the classics. It's called Passion in Pittsburgh. I got it at the supermarket. Satisfied? Sure, there's nothing wrong with that. You really think so? Sure. Well, don't tell anybody just the same. We librarians have to keep up appearances. Okay. My lips are sealed. Thank you. What happens in your book? It's the story of three young women who fall in love with steelworkers during the disco era. Sounds kind of mushy. Oh, it is. Is there a car chase in it? As a matter of fact, yes. Lila has to chase Thurman to keep him from flying back to Cairo, where he's secretly a prince. That doesn't sound too bad. Tell me some more about your book. Loomis loves Betty, but Betty loves Trent and Trent loves Alice. Alice pretends to love Michael, but secretly she really loves Lorenzo, who has fallen for Yvette. Yvette is married to Simon, but she loves Randall, and Simon loves Alice. Randall loves Lucy, who loves Henry, who loves Grace. But she's too tied up in her work to notice, oh, it's so real. What else happens in your book? Trent and Kent, they're the twins, coincidentally wind up at the same restaurant at the same time, and Elsie doesn't realize there are two of them. It's quite tragic. What's happening in the part you're reading now? Visitors from space come to Earth, and Beth has to decide whether to stay with Michael or to run away with Zufrax. It's quite a dilemma. She loves them both. Tell me some more about your book. One of the women, Beatrice, sits at the same bus stop every day with this man Kevin, but she never sees him because she only has one eye. Oh, it's terribly romantic. What's happening in the part you're reading now? Bruce accidentally gets stuck in a huge block of cement with only his head sticking out so Lacey has to feed him all his meals. Oh, it's so romantic it makes me blush. What else happens in your book? Franklin receives a leg transplant from a marathon runner and they can't get him to stay at home. Oh my! What's happening in the part you're reading now? Mr. Burphy plans to close the steel mill, which would be awful because then Lawrence would have to move away from Betsy. Fortunately, Mr. Burphy develops a terrible rash and has to go to New Orleans. Tell me some more about your book. Visitors from space come to Earth. What are these? Those are library cards. If you could bring me a picture of yourself, I'll put it on the card and you'll be able to borrow books from the library. Neat. Another box top. <laughs> Quiet avalanche zone. Shh, 
Avalanche means that if you make a loud enough noise, a bunch of snow might come falling down the mountain. I see. Hello! Howdy! You're wearing a straw hat. Are you one of the delegates to the peace conference? I sure am. I'm Chuck Cheddar. Cheese of Adventure! I'm Pajama Sam! You need help? I think so. I parachuted in and got stuck on this ledge. Now I can't get across. I'll see what I can do. Much obliged, Pajama Sam. Here's another box top. I hope I can find 20. I'm Sam. I am called Syllabus the Sage. For reasons I cannot fathom. Fathom? I sit here atop Mount Wisdom and ponder the deeper mysteries of the universe. What are you pondering right now? I am considering the nature of cheese. Oh, I like cheese. Well then, perhaps you will be able to help me find the answer to the great three-part question of the nature of cheese. What are the three parts of the question? First, I must know which fork at the table is the cheese fork. Hmm, I don't know that one. The second part of the question is this. What sort of cheese is the moon made of? The moon is made of cheese? The last part is perhaps the most important. What sort of cheese is the best to put in a cheese sandwich? you know if I could find out the answers to any of those. Thank you, young man. Hey, a gondola! I wonder where it goes. A ski resort! Boy, this place has got everything! I can find 20. Look at all those different roots. Oh boy, I'm gonna go skiing. Yeah, we're guarding it. 
the uh, entrance. This entrance right here. We're guarding it. I see. All right, a box top. Hold it. Guards only. Does that mean I can't go in? Oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, well, let's see. It's no guards allowed. No, that's not right. It's guards only. Guards only, that's right. And, uh... Well, he's not a gourd, so... Uh, so that would mean... And that would mean, no, you can't go in. No admittance. Unless you're a guard. Which you're not. A guard. Sorry. That's okay. Hey, a big donut! And it's a swing! I didn't realize you were... I mean, I should have asked. That's okay, I love to swing. What else would I be doing tied to a tree like this? That's a good point. <laughs> what else do you like to do besides swing, Sprinkle? I used to like to swim quite a bit. Well, float, really. I'm a good floater. It's a good thing I can float. Say, the water is very nice today. Why don't you come in for a swim, Sam? The water's lovely. I don't want to get too wet before dinner. But maybe you could give me a ride. Sure, hop on. Fry? I'm not a french fry. I'm Pajama Sam. Oh, so you are, Penny. Do you like french fries? I love french fries. Especially with barbecue sauce. Mmm, barbecue sauce. That's the only way I'll eat them, actually, is with barbecue sauce on them. Then there's no stopping me. I like mine with ketchup. Well, different strokes for different folks. Boy, this is great! Look at all these different sauces! Yes, it's a condiment tree! Oh boy, ketchup! Ketchup is good on everything! Hmm, hot sauce! And it's the extra spicy kind! This one's vinegar! It tastes awful by itself, but it's good on salads and things! This is teriyaki sauce! My mom likes to cook things with it! Barbecue sauce. I put this on my peas. Mom thinks I'm nuts, but it's good. I better take this barbecue sauce, just in case. Mmm, mustard. I like mustard on my sandwiches. This is mayonnaise. Mom puts it in deviled eggs. Yum! Ew, horseradish. This stuff is too strong for me, but some people like it. This is relish, the kind you make with pickles. Hey, what is that? 
Is it barbecue sauce? Uh-huh. for the Peace Conference? But yes, I am Pierre Le Pen of the Breads and Grains Group. Can you get down from there? Alas, no, I am trapped. The Ferris wheel, she has no power. The exercise machine on the beach furnishes the power, but no one seems to be exercising, and so she does not move. Hmm, well, I'll think of something. Thank you. For the peace conference to be deprived of Pierre? This is not good. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! <laughs> but seriously, folks, let me ask you this. What goes ha 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 ha, plop, plop, plop? An orange holding its breath. Hey! You ain't funny! Bring back the other guy! Don't you get it? Orange, breath, plop, plop, plop. Plop this, wise guy! It's true. He really isn't very funny. But hey, tell me, what do you think of these shoes, eh? <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, next up is Tom Rutabaga, the Knock Knock King. How about a nice hand for Mickey Hollandaise, folks? Mickey Hollandaise in his great big floppy shoes! <laughs> All right, folks, check this out! It'll knock you right out of your seat! Knock, knock! Who's there? Omelet! Omelet who? I'm a lot funnier than Mickey Hollandaise is! <laughs> you can see why they call me the Knock Knock King! Knock Knock! Who's there? Carrot! Carrot who? Carrot all about me! Then open the door! <laughs> Oh, oh, hang on! This is a good one! Knock, knock! <laughs> Who's there? Theodore! Theodore who? Theodore's locked! Why do you think I'm knocking? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you're a discerning audience! Knock, knock! Who's there? Police! Police who? Police open the door! It's cold outside! <laughs> <laughs> You like that, huh? Okay, how about this one? Knock, knock! Who's there? Wendy! <laughs> Wendy who? Wendy, last time you heard this many hilarious jokes! <laughs> <laughs> Try this one! Knock, knock! Who's there? Avocado! Avocado who? A 
all the counter to keep me from falling out when I drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my kind of crowd. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ketchup. Ketchup who? Ketchup quick. We're losing the race. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready? Knock, knock. Who's there? Harry. Harry who? Hurry and open the door. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got a million of them. Knock, knock. Who's there? Sarah. Sarah who? Sarah, doctor in the house. I think I broke my funny bone. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? Peas! Peas who? Peas open the door! I wanna come in! <laughs> you like that, huh? Okay, how about this one? Knock, knock! Who's there? Jerry! Jerry who? Jerry, it's a fire! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a million of them! Knock, knock! Who's there? Little old lady! Little old lady who? The yodeling contest is tomorrow! Today we're doing knock-knock jokes! Please, stick to the program! <laughs> <laughs> you can see why they call me the knock-knock king! Knock-knock! Who's there? Apple! <laughs> Apple who? I pulled on the knob, but the door won't open! <laughs> yeah! This is my kind of crowd! Knock-knock! Who's there? Hutch! Hutch who? The Zoom Height! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Hang on! This is a good one! Knock, knock! Who's there? Isabel! Isabel who? <laughs> is a bell pepper the red kind or the green kind? <laughs> <laughs> oh! I check this out! Knock, knock! Who's there? Kenny! Kenny who? Kenny, open the door now! <laughs> <laughs> Here's another box top. I hope I can find 20. Oh, oh, hang on. This is a good one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Thistle. Thistle who? This will be the last time I tell a knock, knock joke. No. <laughs> Hi. I, um, I saw your act. <sighs> Tell me the truth. Did I stink? Well... I knew it. Oh, I am awful. No, I wouldn't say that. I wish I had a better head for jokes. Hey, why did the chicken cross the road? Because I can't remember. Oh, no. Don't worry, it's okay. My career is over. I'm a lousy comedian. Say, is it all right if I take your pumpkin? Sure, kid. Knock yourself out. Thanks. I can tell you're a discerning audience. Knock, knock. Who's there? Carrot. Carrot who? Carrot all about me. Then I'll... or something? Not now, dude. They're busy. We have to draw those cupcakes for our art class. Do you guys like to work out? Oh, yeah. Working out is almost as important to us as our drawing assignment. But not quite. We've got to draw those cupcakes so we can be famous artists someday. I see. Hi, what's up? Oh, you know, we're just baking, you know. How will you know when you're done baking? Like we use a timer, you know? PCH will be totally over when the bell rings. Hi, do you 
you sell balloons? Give the boy a college scholarship. He's a genius. Do you like selling balloons? Oh, yeah. It's the fulfillment of all my hopes and dreams. What happens if you sell all your balloons? I can buy a new pair of shoes. Velcro shoes. What's wrong with the ones you've got? Nothing if you've got all day to tie them. The laces keep coming undone. I think helium balloons are a lot more fun than the regular kind. Personally, I prefer a trip to Rio de Janeiro, but what do I know? Do you ever suck the helium out of your balloons to make your voice sound funny? Yeah, and I try not to sell as many as possible so I can do that at the end of a long, hard day. Have you ever popped a balloon with your foot? Have you ever left a guy alone? No, really. Since my shoelaces won't stay tied, it would be too dangerous. Do you know how to make those funny balloon animals? No, but I can blow up a balloon, so that's something. Please pose for your picture. You're allowed one photo per customer. Ew, do I really look like that? I'm not sure I can do this. Say, those are nice. Darn these laces, they're always coming undone. Here, kid, hold these for me, would you? I'd be happy to. Whoops. Um. Whoops. There's the bell. We're done, girls. Peak tanning hours are over. Bye-bye, boys. Let's go get some frozen yogurt. Oh. Darn. I hope they come back tomorrow. But will be done until then. Work out some more. What else? Yeah. All right. Qu'est-ce que c'est? The wheel eternals. <gasps> I am seven. Um, uh, help. Courage, mon ami. You must grab onto the wheel. Ah, excellent! Now we are both severed, and I can continue on to the Conference of Peace. Say, what happened to my... Oh, shoot. Oh, well, I needed a new career anyhow. Hmm, perhaps you can start the taxi service. I need to go to the food pyramid. Can you take me there? Sure, hop in. Au revoir, my pajama friend. Au revoir. Well, that's one down, three to go. I could use a ride again. Hop on.
That would be garnish, dear boy. Do try it. Garnish. Excellently done. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Hello, young man. How may we help you? My name is Sam. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sam. My name is Selma Celery, and this is my sister, Selena Celery. Hello. Hello. We teach dancing and etiquette here. What do you do? Right now, I'm helping a carrot prevent a war by finding peace delegates and getting them to a big conference. How delightful. Yes, war is always such a filthy business. Here's another box top. I hope I can find 20. BCS 4000. Boy, there are a lot of parts in there. It's a hopeless mess. And the instruction manual didn't come with it, so I've got no way at all of putting it together. Hi, I'm Sam. Oh, hi. I see you've got a straw hat. Are you a delegate to the peace conference? No, uh, I'm the foreman here. I was supposed to give this hat to bean number 47, who is our delegate. But I can't. Why not? Because we don't know which bean is number 47. I was going to use the new BCS 4000 Bean Counter Sorter. <laughs> but I don't have the instruction manual, so I can't put it together. That does sound like a problem. It is. Oh dear, oh dear. I'd really like to find the instructions to put this together. There must be somewhere I could find a book like that. Sprinkle, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the blubber. Selma Celery, Garnish, good for one free etiquette lesson. Hmm, well, it's free. Ooh, etiquette lessons. What is etiquette anyway? It's like being polite when you talk, setting the table properly, that kind of stuff. Oh. What are you all jumping for? It's not jumping, we're dancing. It's called the pogo. Don't you ever get tired? Us? Tired? No, especially not at dancing. Don't you know shaking sodas up can make them explode? Yeah, yeah. Don't harsh my fizz, man. to the peace conference? That's right! I'm Granny Smythe! That's Smythe with a Y, mind you! Get it right! Yes, ma'am. Do you need help? You bet your platinum pajamas I do, Sonny! I'm stuck out here! And I don't swim! Never fear! Sam is here! I'll find a way to get to you! Make it snappy, would you? I'm late for the conference! How did you get trapped out there, Granny Smythe? It was those sweet 
I told them to stop roughhousing, and they picked me up and put me out here. Plunger is really big, isn't it? Yep. You guys are all plumbers, right? Right. What do you call what you're doing right now? Plumbing. You look pretty relaxed for someone who's working. I'm assessing the situation. You have to think about these things a while before you dive into them. How come you don't have a plunger like the other guys do? I lost it the other day while I was skiing. It doesn't matter too much, since I mostly just handle the paperwork anyway. What were you doing skiing with a plunger anyway? Real plumbers take their plungers everywhere. A box top! I think this makes 20! Is this your plunger? Hey, a plunger! Look, fellas, this guy's a plumber, just like us! Say, that's just grand. Yeah, that's a real nice plunger. Real nice. Yeah, it's always nice to meet a fellow plumber. Folks call me scissors. This is paper. And that's rock over there. I'm Pajama Sam. It's a pleasure, Sam. Likewise. Yeah. Anything you need, you just ask. Okay, thanks. Is that a Pajama Man lunchbox? No, this is the RX-1000 food suspender. The Cadillac of lunchboxes. It's vacuum sealed, and it has a nitrogen-based temperature regulator. That's pretty fancy for a lunchbox. No, it has to be. Inside, perfectly preserved, I've got the ultimate. The best cheese sandwich ever made! Really? I love cheese sandwiches. What kind of cheese do you use? Monster, of course. It's the best for cheese sandwiches. Mmm, mmm. Sounds delicious. Do you think I could use that wrench for a while? Sure, Sam. Yes, we're all plumbers here. Thanks. I wonder what this does. Is gone at least. I need to find a spare that looks like the clogged one. Now we can finally relax. 
So guys, what's up? We were just talking about rubber gaskets. Oh boy! It looks like your claw got fixed. Yep, I finally got it. You see, you just gotta keep at it. Are you gonna be using that big plunger now? Not right now. I might let you try it out, except I have to have some kind of plunger in case of emergencies. If you're not using that big plunger right now, would you like to trade me for a while? Why sure, I guess that'd be alright. I've been working with Rock for years, so I'm used to it. So you do, young man, so you do. Come right in. Table manners are the most commonly neglected rules of etiquette in these modern times, so that's what we'll cover in today's lesson. First, a few pointers, all right? Okay. Never rest your arm on the table while eating. Eat your soup with a spoon. Do not slurp it from the bowl. Never throw food at the table. Excuse yourself before making funny animal noises. Do not draw and poke holes in or set fire to the tablecloth. Standing on the table during a meal is not permitted. Eat all the food on your plate and do it in alphabetical order. Are we okay so far? Um, I guess so. Good. Now a few words about place setting. The dinner plate goes in the center with the bread plate to the left and the glass or glasses at the upper right. Silverware should be placed as follows. Forks on the left. Salad fork. Seafood fork. And steak fork. To the right we have the steak knife. Seafood knife. Soup spoon. To weenie poker, swizzle stick, and mashy nibble. Dessert silverware is set separately after the meal. Any questions? Um, which one is the cheese fork? The cheese fork will be the one which is brought with the cheese. Oh, that's easy then. This concludes our lesson for today. Thank you for coming, and we do hope you'll consider us for all your etiquette needs in the future. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. I 
could use a ride again. Hop on! Where is that? I don't see anybody. Oh, hello, sir. Welcome to the A complex, Mr. Uh, uh, Gord. Sam Gord. Mr. Gord. Very good. Oh yes, that's that's very good. I think I'll just go on in here now. Hold it, that's the well, wait a minute. It's gourds only, right? Yes, and he's a gourd. So I guess that means, um... That means we let him in. Ah! Uh -huh. This is more cramped than the hall closet of our house. I bet I could see all the way around the world with this thing. Mozzarella. The moon is made of mozzarella cheese. Just like a giant pizza. Meat. Who? Oh, I think, um... Uh, oh, no, never mind. I don't see anything. the three parts of the great question of the nature of cheese again? Part one is which fork at the table is the cheese fork? Oh, I found that one out. The cheese fork is the one that gets brought with the cheese. Excellent. It is elegant in its simplicity. Well then, let us move on. Part two is what type of cheese is the moon made of? Oh, sure. I remember now. I saw it through the telescope. It's mozzarella. Amazing! A telescope! Why didn't I think of that? Part three is... What sort of cheese is the best to put in a cheese sandwich? Oh, I know which one it is. The plumber told me monster cheese is the best. Of course! I should have thought to ask a plumber. Well, this is fabulous. You've helped me to answer all the parts of the great question of the nature of cheese. You are a wise young man, Sam. Thank you. And now, for my favorite part. We get to eat some cheese? No, we get to blow the horn of celebration. I do it every time I get the answer to one of my questions. Since you helped me so much, Perhaps you would like to do the honors. Oh boy! Would I? Oh no! Not again! Say, kid, great plan. You really helped me out of a jam here. Thanks. You're welcome. I'd stick around and swap stories with you, but I've got to get to that peace conference pronto. See you around, Sam. Bye. Well, I guess we gotta start the hole over again. 
Let's take a break first. Good idea. Come on, everybody. Break time. That's three down. Only one more delegate to go. How about another ride? Sure. photo of me. Now I can make you a library card. Excuse me, young man. Yes, if you want to take that book with you, you'll have to check it out. Oh, okay. Can I use this card now? Yes, you can. <laughs> you may keep the book for three weeks. After that, the fine is $400 a day. That seems like kind of a lot. Just have the book back in three weeks! Okay, thank you! You're welcome.
I could use a ride again. Hop on! Shall we? Let's sail! You know anything about technical manuals? Oh! It's the BCS 4000 Operator's Guide by Dr. Gizmo Flutewing. Sprouts be praised! We can put the machine together! Quick, help me! Take an end! That ought to just about do it! Thanks for all your help, Sam. Hey, what do you say? Shall we fire it up? I'll let you do the honors. Sure! All beans to the counting and sorting machine. I can use this machine to sort the beans and find number 47. The kidney beans go on one side, and the jelly beans go on the other.
Yahoo! Well, it looks like you're bean number 47. So you've got to represent us at the peace conference. It's a great honor! You better take this hat, in case there's any confusion. Thank you, Foreman! I'll be on my way immediately! I better get to the food pyramid myself to make sure everything goes okay. Good work, Sam. And good luck. Thanks. I'm telling you, meals should consist strictly of dairy products, for health reasons. But it is the breads which are the most healthy of foods. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Krusty here thinks he's healthier than I am. This cheese has gone rancid. I cannot negotiate with him. Uh-oh. You're both fools. The bean way is the only way. Nonsense! Fruits are the principal staple for meals and dessert. What do you know, you old crab apple? A lot more than you, you overgrown lump of mold. Please, let's not resort to name calling. Who made you the boss, you wilted weed? Flathead. Shrub. Entree. Loaf. Pabulum. Grub. Mercel. Gobbit. Tidbit. Stop! What's going on in here? I thought I heard shouting. This means war! No. No, it doesn't. You're all being silly fighting like this. If there's one thing I've learned since I've been here, it's that no food is an island. What? What are you talking about? You two are arguing about whether cheese or bread is better, but it takes cheese and bread to make a cheese sandwich, which is maybe the most perfect food there is. And neither of you could do it without the other. Hmm. Say for that. Hmm. Cheese sandwich. And there's other stuff, too. What about peanut butter and jelly? Or macaroni and cheese? Or peaches and cream? Mmm. -hmm. All the best things to eat are made by different kinds of food working together. And that's what you should all be doing. Instead of fighting, you can work together to create new and better things. New? Better? Sure, like maybe an apple, broccoli, bean, cheese, and lollipop sandwich. The kids got a point. We have been most foolish. Put her there, partner. All right, yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. Cooperation, why this means, <coughs> means um, um. Peace, General, peace. Exactly. In that case, I hereby officially and irrevocably declare... Peace. Hooray! Great speech, Sam. You really saved the day with that one. I'm glad I could help. Can you stick around to help us make plans for the future? Or have you got to get home for dinner? Dinner? Oh my gosh, I forgot.
Mona Lee? 